Hey guys, Brad here with Custom Offsets. This is gonna be an episode of Hot New Suspension. And this one's gonna be the six inch Fabtech uh, system here. This is, I think they call this the basic system. The six inch system for 2014 to 17 GM 1500 trucks, half ton trucks, like Silverados and Sierras. And let's just walk through the kit here a little bit. As you can see, Fabtech is a little bit of the high, one of the higher end brands, the nicer brands. So they include these uh, Ford steel knuckles for you for uh, the lift, lift knuckles so that you don't have too much of a ball joint angle on your ball joint. So it raises your um, top ball joint mounting location for your upper control arm. So that's going to help with your ball joint angles, longevity of your suspension components and all that good stuff. And it's going to help in the ride quality. This kit you might notice is red, which isn't standard on Fabtech kits, they come black. Uh, the customer just chose to have this one powder coated. Uh, he did this himself, that it's gonna go on his black truck here, so he wanted a red kit, so he got it powder coated. And then uh, this is also the one that comes with, these are the upgraded stealth shocks that Fabtech makes. This is an upgrade from their, the white performance series. So I think this upgrade for the stealth shocks is about $70, and so the customer decided to do that. This kit also comes with, as you can see, you got your standard, these are tapered lift blocks in the rear and they taper the blocks so that your um, rear pinion angle isn't too extreme and you're binding on your um, U-joints in the back. And then of course, they give you the nice uh, yellow zinc coated U-bolts, which won't corrode over time, which is nice, so they'll always look pretty fresh. And they got your sway bar drop brackets here. These are going to be your differential drops, this one here, and this one is going to be the other diff drop. And as well as, they have this brace here for your differential, because when you drop it down, you have to cut a part of the uh, right side mounting pad off on the differential. So they give you this bracket, which is going to brace the differential. And you can see, this is going to be your lower control arm rear cross member. And it's actually going to go, well, it'll sit like this basically. The cross member comes down and your differential will be braced in here and they give you these nice poly, polyurethane bushings to go on the brace so your differential is nice and solid, mounted as it should be. And another nice thing about this kit is they give you these shortened tie rods. When you do these lifts, you have to, basically the factory tie rods. Here's a factory tie rod. You can see how long it is and it doesn't allow for enough adjustment or tow in. So on some of the cheaper or lower end kits like Rough Country, they actually tell you to cut the tie rod, the outer tie rod about an eighth inch and, and cut the inner tie rod an eighth inch. And I'm not the biggest fan on that. So Fabtech's nice enough to give you these shortened tie rods so you don't have to cut anything, which is nice. And then I guess to finish it off, you got your standard uh, strut spacers here for the, this six inch basic kit is what they call it. The Fabtic also does make a coilover kit with their own uh, Dirt Logic coilovers is what they're called. And I think that's called their, that's their six inch performance series with the coilovers. It's a super nice kit, but it's also about $2,500 or so. It's a, it's a lot more expensive than this kit. And, um, oh, yep. Also, this is the front skid play that comes standard on all the Fabtech six inch lists. They got, this would be your bump stop drops. I think this is, these are for the rear, to drop the rear bump stops down, which is nice. And then your CV axle spacers, so you don't overextend your CV axles. They give you these bag of hardware. They give you Loctite, which is nice to Loctite the Crucial fasteners, like you're supposed to. And um, I think that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and install this one and uh, get it out the door. See ya.